Okay, so um, hello, my name is Duncan Alderice. Uh, I am the, uh, the person that has started this channel. I go to Bishop's University. I'm in my fifth year, going to my fifth year, uh, majoring in neuroscience, and I'm trying to minor in philosophy as well as uh, marketing and entrepreneurship. And uh, right now I'm talking to you just freely. The, the, the purposes of this sort of experiment of sort, I don't really know, it's just 10 minutes of me talking about whatever's going on in my life whether I have an idea that comes to mind, whatever I, I try to, like, I'm gonna try to do it as often as possible. There's gonna be no kit cuts, uh, minimal edits. It's trying to be raw, podcast-like, except video lecture style. I don't really know what it is. Right now, the room I'm in is in the apartment. I'm in, I'm in a two-bedroom apartment, taking, sitting, living alone. Um, rent isn't bad, uh, Wi-Fi is good, and uh, the heating, it's the summertime. There's no air conditioning, so that sucks. Um, but kind of what, like what has incentivized me to start doing this sort of thing is, um, like in doing the vlogs and, 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 and those sort of things, uh, it's fun and I love it. It just takes time and it feels like the videos that I create are more movies and, 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 and kind of sort of scenes of my life and they're, they're, they're romanticized and, and made to seem a bit better. Uh, than the reality that they are. They, they lack, they don't lack authenticity as in them I'm lying and overdoing them, but in watching back, it's, I don't know. I just, I, sometimes I will have something that I want to say and, and, and want to capture just a moment, just a moment of my thoughts. This is me just trying to articulate my thoughts. It's, it's, I, I don't know. I'm figuring it out as the process as like, I'm just, Turning on the camera, as cliche as that sounds, and as cliche as saying, as cliche as that sounds, has become. Anyways, so uh, I didn't make a bad decision tonight, and I'm proud of myself for that. And that bad decision that I didn't make was, so I'm at the cottage, and the cottage isn't like my cottage, but it's a house in the Lemonsville area that like has a name, and it's called The Cottage. And I've got friends there, and so I'm sitting there with them and we're watching a movie. I don't know what movie it was. A movie with Samuel Jackson about like, um, there's like a basketball team that he's coaching um, in like um, a, a poor neighborhood or, or something. Wasn't really paying attention, came halfway through. Anyways, uh, I left at 1040 because I got to wake up for, to go to job tomorrow. Um, and on the way home, I'm thinking, go that, uh, I should go to Prov. Like I'd just buy a bottle of wine, just, Drink, not get drunk, but just have a drink. Like, like, just enjoy it. Make me I'll fall asleep better. You know, I mean, tomorrow will come sooner. And I'm walking towards Prov, and and I go like, ah, I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do this. This is this is a bad decision. This is this is not behavior that I want to keep doing. But also, like, what is it? Is it a bottle of wine? I'm just gonna have a glass. When I think about every time I say that, I'm going to just have a glass, I get more drunk than I want to, but not to the point that I'm inebriated and hung over the next day. Just it's just money that I'm throwing away. It's not productive. So <laughs> I didn't go and buy it. And I'm happy about that. I'm very happy about that because the sequence of events that followed, instead of going to Prov, buying the bottle of alcohol, coming back here, putting something on the TV, drinking to it, enjoying it, Finishing the bottle of wine, maybe not. Eating some, I got pickled eggs in my fridge, just a bunch. That's normally the drunk food that I sort of like. Uh, going to bed, going to sleep, waking up the next day, and that's how that happens. Instead, I've come home, been like going like, no, like trying to hype myself up about, about uh, making the good decision or, or whatever. Um, sat on the couch, started re continuing to read the book that I'm reading, um, which is The 12 Rules for Life by Jordan Peterson. A great book, by the way. Uh, from that, got a sense of inspiration or whatever, going like, oh, I should write like a list of videos that you could actually make during the summertime when you have all this time. Like, like put it into writing and put your ideas onto paper so it's not just all these free flowing thoughts that don't actually come to fruition. Fruition, I think, is the right word right there. I don't actually know if it is or not. But anyways, from that, get a piece of paper from inside here, sit down, start writing down the, the ideas. And then I'm thinking about the fact that I also want to use this, this room as a sort of like a podcast room. Like I want to start 
what, what I want to start, I've been saying that for a week, I'm going, I'm going to start, going to start with this, going to start with that, going to start with this. And it's, it's all I know I will, but knowing that you will, it's not soon enough. Um, if, if that makes sense, like it needs to be now a little bit, like just enough that there's some sort of progress has been made. And so like, I'm an impulsive person that like, what I love about Instagram vlogging and just posting on that is it's just like right there, bang and done. Nobody cares. It's gone in 24 hours. It doesn't have to be this big production. There is no perfect, um, Instagram story because they're all trash essentially. You know what I mean? Some are good, some are better than others, but it's, there's, it's, that's not what you're looking for. It's not this, this fine art sort of thing. Um, Anyway, so I'm back to writing down the video ideas on, on the table. Uh, and like, I think about this idea before of just having just a look like, like me just talking, I'm going, Oh, look, 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 what a good frosh. Uh, look, what advice would you give to a, um, incoming frosh, like incoming people who are coming to bishops. Um, and I want to make this big video idea about it, but like, Sometimes I find I will get lost in creating the perfect idea um, that I pre that prevents myself from actually um, beginning to actually manifest that, that that perfect idea, you know. So like I like I'm sitting there and I go like like just go record yourself for ten minutes. Just talk to the camera. You've been thinking about doing this before. What is it? You don't have to say anything. There is no message here that's planned. This isn't. This is as impulsive as it gets. Um, and it, like the, like uh, I um. I know that in starting doing this, I have taken a really good forward step into a progress towards the ideas that I want to make in the future. Um, one of the things I really want to do is uh, do a sort of talk show uh, kind of thing at like at the school, but not one that's labeled like this is the Bishop's University talk show or this is what the students of like, like I'm not amplifying the student's voice with Bishop's University stamped on it. You know what I mean? But I just kind of more want to find, like just like divide a list of like a couple questions, nothing too complex, but once they're deep enough that you get a sense of who the person is. So you can get a first impression of one particular student that goes here at a specific point in their life. And the reason I feel there's going to be value to that, number one, is because, well, everyone wants to be on a talk show, but for that specific individual, it encapsulates who they are, who the essence of who they are, like their personality in a specific moment, a pivotal point in their life. How many times left? Oh, I got tons of time. At a pivotal, pivotal, pivotal point in their life. So that the, from the day, when it, the day it is uploaded, that moment is immortalized. So when they graduate the school and they have a job and they're 10 years from that point forth in their life, they can look back and see who they were then. Have they grown? What has changed about them? What is the same? It provides value to them specifically, which I love. Like, I just love that about that. As well as if I do it a bunch of times, so I have 40 videos, maybe 40 is a lot, I don't know, 40 people's short interviews, just eight minute sort of things, nothing special, just that, that small sample will give a, like a, an impression of a type of student that goes to Bishop's University for a prospective person looking for a video that isn't the classic. It's either the party where it's just a montage of everyone drinking, having a great time, or the, 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 the vanilla school where it's the Bishop's University classic slow motion shot of their, of the campus. And then just people just talking in sound bites saying, you'll love it here. It's a great community. Even though those might be correct and true and honest, it comes across as too manufactured that for someone who will actually put in the work to trying to figure it out, it is no value to them. Yes, it's good on a like a like a more viral scare that like a, like like seven thousand people will watch that video and go like, oh, I've got a good impression of the school. But I'm, I I feel that if I make a lot of good videos that are that are all kind of connected, the hundred people that will find value from them will find more value the value that they will find from it will be more substantial than the value that those 7,000 people found 
from that short little soundbite clip. Um, my name's Duncan Alderdice. This is video number one. <laughs> Today is Monday, July 13th. Um, and thank you for listening.